Hey up, ducks! Jordan and Jimmy here. We've trending live until 5:30 p.m. And here's why you're sticking with us for the next hour and a bit. Yeah, we are going to be meeting Liv Dawson. She's the singer who's opened concerts for Khalid, Miguel, and Jesse Ware as well. And she's mates with a guy. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's called Elton John. Elton John. The name rings a bell. Yeah, it rings the a bell. Yeah, she's friends with him. She's coming in to give us the world premiere of her brand new video, Nobody But You. And here's a super secret tease. Oh. Can't wait to hear more of that. And a UK garage legend is in the building. Can't Lisa Mafia from So Solid Crew and the new series of Coach Trip is here. She's behind the most successful garage song of all time, 21 Seconds, which <laughs> sounds a bit like this. When I was younger, me and my mates used to listen to that all the time. I ah, love the crew. It's a banger. Can't it's an wait for banger. Uh, Lisa Mafia is in the building. Plus, here's a tough one. Who's got the biggest hits? Post Malone or The Weeknd? Who would you say from a sinking ship? You know, who do you say from the fires of oblivion? It sounds dramatic, but if one had to go, who would it be? The decision lies with you. Very dramatic. When we play you three of their bangers and make you pick your favourite later on in Pop Trumps. Yes, Liv Dawson, Lisa Mafia and Pop Trumps. It's all coming up. Back to the big four at four. This is the big four at four. The four biggest stories from today. And at number one, here are the nominees. The nominations for this year's Oscars are here, and shock horror, it's more of the same. Yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody and A Star Is Born are both up for the gold. Boring. Uh, and with ten nominations, the favourite is looking like... Well, it's looking like the favourite. Oh, the film the favourite. Yeah. I went to watch that on Sunday. Is it good? It's really good. Oh, it's so really... Nice. I went to watch it on my own in the cinema, which is fine. I like going to cinema on my own. But my only worry is, what if Olivia Coleman? We'll have a speech ready this time because she did a speech recently at the Golden Globes and it was a bit of a ramble. She just improved it, didn't she? Yeah, have a look. I would like to tell you how much this film means to me, but um, I can't think of it and because uh, I'm too excited. I had a blast, it was amazing. And uh, I went on a private jet and, and I ate constantly throughout the film, it was brilliant. Oh, she's such a. I really want to be friends with Olivia Colman. All I want her to sort of adopt me. She's becoming the nation's sweetheart, isn't she? She, she she's a national. I think she's a national treasure status now. Yeah. I'm a little bit miffed that Michael B. Jordan and those delicious abs haven't been nominated for anything to do with Black Panther. What kind of nonsense is that? <laughs> Wakanda, yes. Wakanda, not. Yeah, if you've come, like, what kind of? Wakanda. If you've seen the film, you'll, you'll see it. Yeah, you have to have seen the film to get it, but uh, still works. Our second story. Drake's killer tour. Today, Drake announced that he is returning to Europe for his assassination vacation tour alongside rapper Tory Lanez. There we go. There's the poster. Very cool. 22 shows in seven cities, including Birmingham. Will you be paying Drizzy a visit, Jimmy? Because you're from that. I'd love to, actually. I mean, we don't call Drake Drake in Birmingham. We call him Drake. Ah, Drake. Drizzy, we're a big fan of Drake. Um, so, I don't know how I might do. Yeah. I know, actually, I have looked at the dates, and I'm at church. On really? the day that he's in town, yes, yeah, so I probably won't be able to make it happen. Uh, but hey, who knows? The service might get cancelled. Sometimes that happens, and I might be able to go. It all depends on God's plan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's your worst one yet. Come on, since I've since that's I've been the doing best it. one yet. And our third story: Sean is going in one direction. Sean Mendes and One Direction's Niall Horan have more or less confirmed that a collab is coming. Yes. Yes. Look yeah. at him. Oh, look at him. Uh, as you can see in the tweets on screen, it started with a fan question and ended up with Sean saying, we are going to collab in, ca in capital letters. Uh, what do you reckon the song would be called? I have no you... idea what the song would be called, but do you, not this, do you not think this is just like, you know, when you haven't seen your mate in ages yeah. and you're like, yeah, we should go for a pint, we should go for a coffee. 
And then it never happens. And it never happens. And you're like, yeah, yeah, we should definitely meet up next week. That's uh, like us, actually. Yeah, it is, isn't we it? See, every time we see each other, we're like, oh, we should get a drink next week. And it, ne and it never happens. And we only see each other on the telly. But, yeah. Um, apparently, they tried to meet up before in Tokyo. That oh, yeah. never happened. Because, you know, um, Sean got lost in Japan. Did he? No, it's he a got, joke. Well, it is quite a difficult city to navigate. No, it, so. the name of his song is Lost in Japan. It doesn't matter. So he didn't get lost in Japan? No, he didn't. It was the joke. Oh, right. oh, sh your uh, bit. Your mistake. Uh, OK, our last story now. What a racket. A tennis player was caught in a fit of rage at the Australian Open. Caught like a tennis... After losing to his opponent, take a look at this. More pictures from uh, about 30 minutes ago when Pablo Carreño Busta exited the court after losing. And I have never seen anyone exit a tennis court at the professional level that hot, that heated. Oh, that's Imagine lobbing your bag about like what that. What a paddy. Imagine throwing a paddy, screaming at the umpire, slamming his racket, Pathetic. throwing his bag across the court. If he ends up with a fine, I say it serves him right. Hey, it does. Hey, let's hope they uh, take some money off his earnings. That might affect his net profit. <laughs> You've been so poor with the jokes today, Jimmy. Sorry. Still, it's a story about tennis, so it's not your fault. Hey! And that was the big four at four. Well, happy Tuesday. We've got some amazing guests lined up for you today. Starting off with the lady who opened up the European leg of Khalid's tour, Liv Dawson, will be here. She's given us the world premiere of her new video, Nobody But You, and breaking down how the hell this happened. Wow. Wow. Whoa. That <laughs> is the Elton John in a balloon hat. <laughs> and apparently that was him just before he was nipping to Tesco's. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I need to know all the details about that. You need to know all the details. She'll be able to tell us in the next few minutes. What is going on there? And Lisa Mafia from so Solid Crew. And this year's celeb coach trip will be able to tell us what it's like being stuck on a bus with Jedward, Big Nasty and Roxanne Pallet. I imagine probably, probably quite pungent. Uh, we'll be finding out when she pops in at the end of today's show. But first, let's talk about the biggest story of the day. What's that meaty and very nice smell? Oh, um, I don't, is it something that you'd whip out on Valentine's Day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, OK, uh, idea of what it might be. Is it, is it wider than it is long? Uh, I'll be honest, don't lie, just because we're on telly. <laughs> Tell the truth. Yeah. It is. it is right. Okay, <laughs> I know exactly what it is. Uh, is it something you'd advise against putting in your mouth? Definitely. Oh, I've got it wrong, Ben. I don't know. What do you think it could be? Well, what I, I can't say. What, is it a KFC scented candle? Yes, Jimmy. Oh yeah, yeah okay, well, you got it right. It is a KFC scented candle. They have released a gravy scented candle. Can you believe it? There's only 230 available, and they're going like gravy covered hotcakes as well. Oh, so it's just like a meaty aroma you'll get in your bedroom. Uh, it's part of a bigger project they're calling the KFC Chill Experience. Amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? I like the sound of it, though. It basically allows users to listen to the sounds that you'd find in a KFC ch kitchen, which is very relaxing, isn't it? You know, like chicken frying in a deep fat fryer or gravy simmering, somebody drunk shouting across the restaurant. I mean, probably something a bit like this. That should also, not be a thing. I'm sorry, but when has KFC ever been that crispy? That is... that... that... Never been that crispy. It's, like, soft and soggy. Weird scented candles are actually quite common. You can get a Mantown scented candle, which basically <laughs> smells like a man's room. Mantown! Welcome to Mantown! Welcome to a man's room. This is Ooh. my room. I went to a bar called Mantown once. I had a lovely time there. Bet you did. Uh, I wouldn't want a candle to relive the scent, though. That's... <laughs> One thing for sure. There's also a bacon candle, uh, which is the added benefit of helping vegans build up some willpower. If they can light that and not fancy a bacon sandwich, then they're a true vegan. And if you really want to make candles great again, there's even a Donald Trump-scented candle. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, you know that would smell like hairspray and bad breath. Yeah, wouldn't it? Would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Donald Trump's definitely got minging breath on yeah, him. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Um, right, so, um... Oh, Jordan. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> look, that was a bit harsh. I've actually made one myself in the past. I'm not... I'm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, look at this. It's the next day 
and my candles have set. They are, the wax has hardened and they, they look like actual candles. And I'm so excited by this. I think I'm gonna give up my job and start an Etsy store. They seem to have turned out really well. There you go, that's me, blonde hair. I forgot you had blonde hair. When yeah, was I that know, about a year too. ago? It probably was, actually, yeah. yeah. Actually, it was. Uh, right, well, after KFC announced the launch of their gravy scented candle, we would like to know what weird scent you would put in a candle. Producer Munya. It's got to be fresh strawberries, but it's like a oh. roulette, because sometimes you open it, it smells like a fresh field. Other times, it smells like dirty farts. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> dirty farts? New strawberries can smell like dirty farts. You can't say that on telly, man. Dirty yeah. farts. Wash your mouth up. Well, you said that you about Donald with Trump. Dirty, dirty you go in with a fresh, fresh strawberry scent. That's, I mean, that probably exists, or though. Fresh it's ham. Like, yeah. Fresh ham? You like the smell of ham? Yeah. Fresh ham, straight off the pig. <laughs> Making me feel uncomfortable how you're looking at me while you say that. Uh, listen, go over to our Instagram and Twitter, please. Search at Trendy Live. Let us know what uh, flavour candle would you go for. And uh, we'll read some out in a bit. After the break, Liv Dawson is going to be here. She's hung out with Khalid, Elton John, Jesse Ware, and we're playing her brand new music video. And have you heard about the new Netflix documentary that everybody's talking about? Fire, the greatest party that never happened. Here's a little peek. Yeah, we'll play that in a sec. Uh, Lisa Matthew will be here as well. We'll take a quick break. We'll see you. Everybody deserves the perfect start. Try the Eve mattress with our 100 night trial. If you don't sleep better, we'll pick it up again for free. Lighten and 0% fat, 0% added sugar. Feel free to enjoy. Stay in your comfort zone for even longer and get up to a 10-year guarantee on a smart valent boiler. Find your local in valent.co.uk. What's next in the BT January Seal? Amazon Prime on us for 12 months with Superfast Fibre Essential. Imagine all that Prime music and unlimited fast deliveries. Magic. On average, this broadband is three times faster than standard UK broadband's 10 megabits per second. It's $29.99 a month on an 18-month contract. This Amazon Prime offer is only available till 24th of January. So back it now. Search BT Broadband or call 0800 345 7414. I had a great imagination, but I never imagined I'd go blind. I was a tattoo artist, and five years ago, on my wife's birthday, I woke up and everything was black. I'll never do my old job again, but I'm not giving up. Now I want to be a counsellor to help people that have been through the things I've been through. That's why I'm on the waiting list for a guide dog, to help me get where I need to be. There are hundreds like me, waiting. You can help by sponsoring a puppy from just a pound a week. Call 0800 952 3030 or text HELP to 78866. You get a cuddly toy, regular pup dates and photos of your puppy growing into a guide dog. I'm lucky. I know where I want to go in my life. I just need a guide dog to help me get there. Thank you. This story is about a man who wakes up in a different bed every single day. Most days are tough. But every now and then, they're amazing. Because he gets to spend the day at a Thomas Cook Hotel. Book now and spread the cost monthly on selected holidays. 
at all protected. Good morning, Yorkshire Tea. Just popping you on hold. Thanks for holding. Putting you through. Yorkshire Tea, where everything's done proper. At Wren, we price match against all the major online retailers. And in our January sale, there's an extra 20% off all extractor hoods. Hurry, offer ends Wednesday. As one sister dies, so does the power. Unless... I see another. I can dance this. Are you telling me that that girl is really her sister? You know who you are now, Paige. This is where your destiny lies. Charmed. Today, 6pm on 4 Music. Welcome back to Trending Live. Here's a toughie for you. If you could pick only one artist for the rest of all time, would it be Post Malone or The Weeknd? Mm, it's not an easy one. More importantly, who has got the biggest bangers? Well, we'll play some later in the show, and then we will ask you to decide who's staying and who's going in the bin in Pop Trumps. That's and coming up. Remember to go over to our Twitter and Instagram and tell us about the weird scented candles that you would oh, love yeah. to see in your living room or your bedroom. Uh, because today, KFC have announced that they have released a KFC gravy scented candle. Mm. And I was saying I'd love to see a petrol one. A petrol candle? I love the smell of petrol. It sounds dangerous. Oh, yeah, it, it does very actually. flammable. Or freshly cooked grass. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but I feel like that's been done. No. It's so basic. Yeah. I would go with, I like the smell of rubber. Yeah. And also, I really like the smell of, like, you know on a hot day and it rains? Yeah. You get that, like, earthy kind of wet smell. Right. I like that. Okay. I'm into that. I like the smell of a new book as well. Yeah, like an Argos catalogue. Yours are just weird. What's up with you? <laughs> I mean, we're up no, for weird. The smell of an Argos catalogue is really nice. It smells like a leaflet. You know what I mean? Like, leaflets have a distinctive smell. Anyway, let us know what scented candle you would like to see. Uh, search us out on Instagram and Twitter. We are at Trending Live. But right now, time to welcome today's guest. She's a singer who's racked up over 25 million streams on Spotify, toured with Khalid and parted with Elton John. It's a lot for one person to be doing, but hey, you only live once. It's Liv Dawson, everybody! Very nice. Yes, Liv. Welcome to Trendy Life. Thank you. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. I really like that T-shirt as well. Thank you. I was just sort of eyeing it up, thinking I could get away with that. I think I actually wore it in the music video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. a famous T-shirt. Yeah. It's now a bit of pop song. history. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you've been in the music industry for a while, Liv, since yeah. you were 12 years old already. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, but, yeah, it started when I was very young. <laughs> so how did you start when you were 12? Yeah, did, was was it, like, happen? did it happen by accident? Was it something you really wanted to do? I started gigging when I was 12, um, literally in, like, pubs and clubs, and my dad would drive me around everywhere, and I'd skip school. To wow. like really? gigs, yeah. Wow. And, and now you've toured with the likes of Khalid, you've owned up concerts for Miguel and Jesse Ware. But we'll get back to that because right now we've got a sneak peek at your newest video, Nobody But You. Let's take a little look at that. Just a sneaky peek. We'll be playing you an even longer slice in just a sec. First, though, uh, this comes from your bedroom EP. And we're really intrigued by the name. Why bedroom? Take us inside your room, if you will. Why did you pick that name? One of the songs on my EP is called Bedroom. And it's kind of... I just made, like, a big wall on in my bedroom of, like, all the stuff that I was doing last year and, like, all the pictures from the Khalid tour and stuff. And I just thought, oh, like, I want to make a song that kind of explains that, like, that I literally live in my bedroom and, yeah. like, do everything. All my ideas come from my bedroom. 
So yeah, it's kind of sentimental and it just felt like it grouped together the EP really nicely. Oh, nice. Mm. Are you quite a sentimental lip? Do you, do, you, do you collect lots of things? Do you hold on to like gig tickets and yeah. take loads of photos yeah. and all that yeah. stuff? Yeah, I love it. I like, yeah, I have so many. I have like train tickets, like I keep hold of train tickets. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do all that. I just like yeah. little... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a weird, little, but... I have a little box full of like football tickets. And <laughs> really? Stuff, you know? yeah. Bedrooms are underrated. I, I, you saying that then? I was like, do you know what? I love my bedroom yeah. as well because <laughs> it's where I do all my best things. Like my, like. Do you? Next question, Jimmy. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't, but like, well, you get your meter candle out. Yeah, yeah, oh God. But it, I love, like, you know, when you're a bit stressed and everybody's doing your editing and you want it, you want to get your own space and your own time. You just yeah. shut yourself off in your room, don't you? Yeah, put, definitely. Put your music on, light a scented yeah. candle. It's Bedrooms like, are underrated, man. Space. Are you the kind of have lots of throw cushions live on your bed because I, I think you can I'm... learn a lot about a person <laughs> from their attitude towards throw cushions. I didn't think I was that person, but I think I am. Like, oh, right. I. Yeah, since I moved out, I definitely love going to like home base and like, getting <laughs> all of the <laughs> all the pillows. Now that I can get on board with home base B and Q, love it. That's my perfect Sunday. That Literally is. Literally same. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk about a song uh, that was written for you by Ollie mm -hmm. from years and years. Um, tell us about that. We're such a big fan of this guy. I love that photo as well. Look at that outfit. <laughs> so, how did that come about? Were you, like, mates? Did he just get in touch with you? So, I was writing a lot with a guy called Jimmy Napes, who's an amazing songwriter, and he was in the studio with Ollie, and they got this song called Open Your Eyes, and it was just, like, on keys, and Ollie was just singing it, and, um... Jimmy showed it to me, and I loved it straight away, and I was like, oh, my God, please, can I have this? And... We ended up, yeah, making it into more of a production, like a bigger production, and um, Disclosure actually re like kind of remixed it and made it sound what it is now. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. So and that's how it comes about then? You were just like, I want that song, please. It kind of was like up for grabs, and I just, I fell in love with it straight away, and it kind of, it felt very me, it felt like exciting, and he's obviously an amazing songwriter and artist, so. Yeah, he's worked with, he's like worked with Sam Smith, and loads yeah. of people. Yeah, he's that's massive. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it's a special Amazing. <laughs> Is there any other artists, because a lot of uh, artists also do a bit of songwriting on the side as well. Um, is there any others that have approached you and said they want you to sing some of their songs? I, I've had, like, I with like other artists and stuff and that is amazing but I, I do like writing a lot of my songs on my own just yeah. because, and with other pro like producers and stuff, just feel like it comes more naturally, it's more personal if yeah. you're writing it yourself. But yeah. I did love Open Your Eyes, it was... I fell in love with it. I always think it must be quite hard to open up and share that songwriting yeah. process with somebody else if you're writing about something really personal. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk about another artist who's a massive fan of your work, Khalid. Yeah. You just had an incredible wow. couple of years. There you are together. Um, so you, uh, you opened on the European leg of his world tour, mm -hmm. which is massive. Can you remember the moment that you found out you were going to be doing that? Was it, uh, was it like a, an email? Was it a phone call? It was a phone call. I literally found out two weeks before and my manager called me and I was, it was just like a Sunday evening and I was just about to get into bed and he was like, so you're going on tour with Khalid in like two weeks. And so I was like, <laughs> like freaking out oh and just everything went through my head and I, I was really nervous, like all these emotions, but then as soon as I got on tour it was the best thing and this like newly found confidence just came out and I just enjoyed every second of it. It was amazing, the best oh. time. And, and when you was on tour with him, it was his birthday, is he yeah, quite, yeah. is he quite, because he's quite a chilled out guy, <laughs> but was his birthday quite chilled? Is it a bit of a massive We had party? a party, Did we you? had a little party, yeah, it was really fun. It was just after the show, I think it was in Brussels, and yeah, we just celebrated, had a DJ, and it was really fun. Oh, no, nice. I want to go to Khalid's birthday <laughs> party, I'm jealous. Who doesn't? Uh, stay right there, Liv, because we'll be talking about the fact that you're mates with someone called Elton John, or it might just be Elton to you. Uh, <laughs> but first, you're treating us to an extended, exclusive, world exclusive, it's an exclusive, world exclusive. Oh, my word, this is so exclusive. <laughs> amazing new video, nobody but you. Tell me why you, tell me why you like I'll be down for you Every single night Do anything for you I turn the clock in a
Yes. Incredible. Yeah. The exclusive, world exclusive. It's actually a universe exclusive as well. Universal it's, it's exclusive, world exclusive. Oh, I love it. That was, of course, the singer who has clocked up over 25 million streams and opened concerts for the likes of Jesse Ware, Khalid and Miguel as well. Hey, I knew she was a star as soon as she walked through the door, son. Oh. It's Liv Dawson. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. He, he's, 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 all the he's, he's not on top form today, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yes. um, that video was really stripped back. Was uh, there was a reason why? Was that it? That was probably Nobody But You is the most stripped back song of my EP. So we really wanted it to be about just like singing in a big studio. And the studio that we filmed it in was Maloko Studios, which is amazing and literally my favourite studio. It's actually filmed, it's like in a pool, like there's... Oh, wow. It's like an old pool, and it's, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, my God. So you were, like, recording it in what would would have yeah. been filled with water or something? Yeah, yeah. That so, is amazing. Yeah, and obviously it's beautiful. It's, like, the most amazing studio, so... Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it important to be in quite an inspirational setting while you're recording or writing? Yeah, I think I like, especially, like, when I'm performing or, like, doing, like, video shoots or whatever, like, it's always quite a daunting thing. So having a comfortable and, like easy space to perform in is obviously very, so much nicer. Yeah, yeah. an old swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smell. interesting. No. Wait, well, I just maybe got, a little bit. I'd imagine, I can just imagine, I went to a beer festival in an old swimming pool and it smelled... Did it still smell of chlorine? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. like that smell though, chlorine. Yeah, I like the smell of chlorine, but it had like a feisty <laughs> swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a bit weird today, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, but no, I mean, normally the acoustics are terrible in a swimming pool, aren't they? Like, yeah. Really <laughs> That's the point. Were the acoustics good? I imagine they were. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. really good. Yeah. Amazing. It was really fun. Uh, you've also been to Sweden recently, Liv. Mm -hmm. um, you were making music there the other day we saw. Um, who were you there with? Was this part of a bigger project? Is it something top secret? I was there with my writing partner and um, I was working with some amazing songwriters, but I've kind of wanted to just get away after Christmas I think like it's quite a crazy time and to go away to Sweden I booked it ages ago and I was like oh yeah finally <laughs> and it was amazing I, I learned a lot about just everything and like and I got loads of songs together so I'm really excited to show everyone my new stuff. Oh, I bet. We're excited. <laughs> Let's talk about your collab wish list because you uh, recently tweeted Ariana Grande, I think I love you. <laughs> okay. I take it you would love to... And look, there's a tweet. There's a tweet now. Oh. I take it you would love to do a collab with Ariana Grande. Uh, yeah, I who think... Who wouldn't? Yeah, who wouldn't, <laughs> <I> <laughs> literally. Would. Yeah, I mean, she's amazing. And I, th I love the way that she just keeps putting out tracks. Like, she's yeah. not stopping. Yeah, yeah she's just Especially pumping them out at the moment. She's a machine, that woman. She is a machine. So I mean, you admire that. You're not intimidated by somebody who has that kind of work rate. Right? No, I think it's inspiring. And it's, it's really nice to know that you don't have to follow a certain routine of releasing songs. Like, you can just put out songs when you want. And yeah. your fans and whoever's listening will love it. Yeah. Well, that's funnily enough because we're going to be playing the video to her new track, Seven. Seven Rings. Seven Rings. I've yeah. Then we're going to be yeah. playing that so at the end of the end of the show, the full version of it. Mm. And it is such a good nice. video so as well. Make sure you hear for it's that. Amazing. It's a great video. All the videos at the moment. She's smashing the videos at the but moment. Thank you. Next she? one is amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's Mean Girls, isn't it? It's all the so, nice. Yeah. Love it. Stuff. Well, another artist who I think it's fair to say has got a pretty incredible work rate and has been around for a while now, I'm sure he won't mind me saying, is Elton John. And there's a photo of you together. Sir Elton John to you. Sorry, Sir Elton John. Elton to live. Sir, sorry, <laughs> Sir Elton John, if you watch, I know he's a big fan. What, uh, I mean, firstly, how did you meet him? Secondly, what's going on in that photo <laughs> there? He says, I've got a few questions. I'm... Main one being, what's with the hat? I mean... The hat looks great. Oh, it looks it great. Looks so good. Is I mean, it made of balloon. Yeah, yeah, it's a balloon hat, and it was um, <laughs> it was created at his Christmas party that he holds in his lovely place. Oh my word! You got invited to Elton John's Christmas party. I did. Was it amazing? It's been, I think it was my third time. What? what? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he um, has been like a big mentor to me, 
and kind of just helps young artists all the time. And he's kind of been in the picture for like five years now. So. We were saying actually, we heard him on George Ezra's podcast. Yeah. And he's big on new music mm. and new artists, and he's yeah. really passionate about. And his music knowledge on like new artists and stuff. Yeah. Artists you you wouldn't expect him to yeah, be yeah. into. Like he's really clued up on it, isn't he? Yeah. What's it like when you go around to his house? He's just in his trackies, having a brew. He actually, yeah, he turns up in shell suits like everywhere. Shut and up. I love it. Yeah. He's the most relaxed guy, but he is so nice and yeah. just so, just really, yeah, lovely and gives so much advice and has a massive heart. So yeah, he's lovely. Oh. Big up Elton John, yeah. incredible. Definitely. Uh, well, uh, you've made some big impressions with some big names, Liv. And based on that, we reckon you're going to have a massive 2019. So thank you so much for coming in to see us. We really appreciate it. Uh, all the best with the Bedroom EP as well. Give it up for Liv Dawson, Woo! everybody. Yes! yes. Okay, right, after the break, get ready to hear some bangers from Post Malone and The Weeknd because we are facing them off against each other in Pop Trumps and you, yes, you will be voting for the winner. And Lisa Mafia from Soul Solid Crew and maybe the most successful garage track of all time shut, is shut, in shut. the building to talk about sharing a bus with Big Nasty on Celebrity Trip. Don't even think about going anywhere. Don't even think about Don't it. Don't you dare. Also, we want to know, after the KFC gravy candle, what your dream-scented candle would be. So get creative, let us know on Instagram, and we'll see you after the break. Extraordinary flavor begins here, where our beans evolve into the most astonishingly magnificent coffee since the dawn of time. Drinking in caramel aromas, berry undertones, and other wondrous wonders. Also, Will stood in his wife's dressing gown can say, Flippin' Eck, that's decent. Oh, Flippin' Eck, that's decent. Tailors of Harrogate, extraordinary flavor. You're here. The beach is here. Let's do this. Your perfect beach holiday is waiting at onthebeach.co.uk. Choose from thousands of amazing holidays. Even spread the cost till two weeks before you fly. Let's get you on the beach. Onthebeach.co.uk. At all protected. Don't miss great savings in the winter sale. Now on at Soak.com. Like this stylish flat panel radiator. Now just £150. Click and save £100 on this Amelie wall-hung basin unit. This matte black two-way shower is now just £179. And save £250 on this beautiful Ava freestanding bath. Let your imagination run wild with the winter sale. Now on at Soak.com. Um, it's danger out there, you see. Yeah, no, ah! Ensure your mobile against theft, mm -hmm. accidental or water damage with protectyourbubble.com. Bubble it. Want to make the most out of every day? Even in winter? Actimel contains yogurt and l live cultures. It also contains vitamins D and B6 that help support the normal function of the immune system. So you feel ready to take on the day. Show us your winter bottle attitude. Actimel. Come out of the cold with a handy heater from JML, the compact personal space heater that plugs straight into the wall so there's no messy cables. With adjustable temperature, timer and fan controls, it will blast away the winter chills. The thermoceramic design uses less energy than a conventional heater, yet it's strong enough to transform cold and chilly spaces into comfortable, warm and cosy places. Just plug it in for powerful, portable personal heat with a handy heater from JML. Only $39.99 from Asda, Robert Dias, Ryman and Wilco. With the Swiss Guarantee, moving bank accounts is easy, and you can get all sorts of rewards. Like money back on the things you buy, or 
freebies to enjoy every once in a while. Or cash rewards to make the whole family smile. Anyone can switch too, so let the good things come to you. For a free and simple switch, just look out for the current account switch guarantee. Gareth and Julie, Winston Wolf. You're looking to insure your house through a price comparison site? Look, if you think you'll only find the best home insurance deal there, then lots of luck. Coffee, Mr. Wolf, lots of cream, lots of sugar. Oh, thanks, Morag. I'll see you crazy kids around. Get done. I'm in a rush to be dropping a thousand ain't much. Come from the clouds on a missile to turn this whole town into dust. Don't make a sound, baby, hush. I am the living swipe right on the mic. I'm a. I don't know how to not spit like a loud. I feel the pound of my kids on your couch. Stop. <laughs> Step into the spotlight. <laughs> Stop. 21 Seconds by So Solid Crew, the most successful garage tune of all time. Well, Lisa Mafia is in the building to discuss all their old school bangers. And what it's like to be trapped on a bus with Jedward, which sounds like hell. I but... wouldn't mind it. Really? Yeah, I quite like Jedward. Okay, <laughs> it makes uh, great I'm interested television. Them. Yeah. And she's in a new series uh, called Celeb Coach Trip that's coming up in a few minutes. But first, yes. a few weeks ago, a big argument happened in the office, uh, and it was over who had the biggest hits, Rihanna or Beyonce. The biggest what? Hits. Hit. Oh, Definitely hits. Hit. Uh, well, since then, the debate has continued. Calvin Harris versus DJ Khaled. Yep. One Direction versus <laughs> Little Mix. Yep. Kanye West versus Drake. And today, we are putting two more music giants against each other. It's time for Pop Trumps. <laughs> Yes, this week it's between two of the most haunting vocalists in the game. Post Malone Ooh. and The Weeknd. Oh, The Weeknd. Haunting. So haunting. haunting. Uh, well, I'm going to be taking on Posty. Okay. Uh, Jordan, you're back in The Weeknd. Come on, The Weeknd. But ultimately, it is you who decides the winner by voting in our Instagram poll. Jump on over to our Instagram story, at Trending Live, and pick who you think the greatest of all time is. We'll play you three of their bangers to, to help you decide. T -t 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 uh, well, let's start strong, shall we, with my first Post Malone banger. OK. This is the track that brought him to fame and had him sourcing all over the place. It's White Iverson. White... I'm saucing, I'm saucing on you. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on I'm ballin', I've a song on you. Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out, eh, yeah. I smash out, I smash out, I smash out, eh, yeah. I'm spendin', I'm spendin', I'm up, eh. Ooh, it's done. Cigarettes in the heaven. Comma commas in my head, man. Slumped over like a dead man. Red and black by my bread, man. I'm the answer, never question. Lay up, learn a lesson. Some sauce, and I do the soft, and don't do no talking. My options right when I walk in. Jump on them Jordans, I'm ballin'. Money jumping, like I'm Davis from New Orleans. I'm hard, and I don't miss nothing. Practice. Yeah, hey, come on now. Before he had face tattoos. I forgot what he looked like without his tattoos. He's so young, so pure, but he still knew how to make a banger. I will give you that, Jimmy. It was a strong start, but Thank I'll you. take it from here. 
Cos, you know, we're supposed to play bangers. Here's my first one. It's the weekend. It's Starboy. Thanks for warming them up, Jordan. Boring. But I think we'll let the big dogs take over now because I'm about to play you my second Post Malone track. And you know that things can only get better now. To kick the set. I'll kick what I want. Who do you think you are? Sorry, I will put that back up. Put that back. Sorry. It is a good tune, right? Sorry, I'll give you that. But we're not looking for good. We're looking for three words. Legendary. And this next weekend track is so good, I can't even feel my face because it's that good. <laughs> Imagine being so much in love you can't feel your face physically. I, I can't imagine such a thing, Jordan. You can't feel your face. I can smell your face. No. Your fear. I can smell your fear. <laughs> you are afraid. That was a trump. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I trumped. <laughs> You're afraid. You're trumping with fear because <laughs> I've got one more song to pull out the bag and it is massive. Mahusif. Right. It's Post Malone with Rockstar. I've been, I've been popping, popping, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a I'll admit, it's, <laughs> got, it's got potential, Jimmy. Yeah. Makes you want to do that, doesn't it? That Post Malone guy should keep trying. For me and The weekend, though, we've got this one. It's in the bag. Oh, yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I can feel it coming. You don't have to run.
Oh, I'm really sad on the weekend. Oh, oh shit. Post Malone is the correct decision, but it does the rest weekend. with you right now. You've heard our three bangers Post Malone versus The Weekend, but who has got the biggest hits? All you've got to do is head over to our Instagram story at Trending Live and vote on our poll. We'll announce the winner before the end of the show. For now, that was Pop Trumps. <laughs> Bow, bow, bow. Right now, as you all know, we have got a new show here on the network called Box Fresh 2019 Spotlight. It's basically our top four picks for 2019. And tomorrow, we're going to be showing you some performances from probably the most heart throbalicious pop star of all time, Harvey. Heart throb a what? Heart throb alicious. Heart throb alicious. Because he makes like you that. throb, your heart throb. Heart throb alicious. Robin. Okay. Uh, if you've not heard of that name, well, you're about to because here he is introducing himself now. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Harvey. I'm a singer and I am from Kent. So I grew up in a little village called Hartley in Kent. And I've sung all my life, I've always wanted to be a singer, but I started taking it seriously when I was about 13, and that's when I first started posting my videos on the internet. I describe my sound as like juicy pop, with a bit of kind of like R&B acoustic influence in there somewhere. My favorite part of being an artist, well, there's so many, I'm gonna pick my top three, because I can't pick. So I like traveling and seeing the world, that's amazing. I love being in the studio and creating music and I love live shows. That's my free favourite. The feeling of stepping out in front of the stage will never get old. Um, I, there's just something about it that just makes you so buzzed and so hyped to get on the stage and seeing all the faces as well. I get a little bit nervous, but it's still the, probably the best feeling that you'll ever have. If you feel anything by listening to my music, then I'm doing my job right. So whether you listen to my music and you feel sad or you feel happy or you want to dance or you want to cry, then at least I've impacted some people in some way. Oh, Harvey there. So hot, throbalicious. You can check him out in Box Fresh 2019 Spotlight. It's on uh, across the month, uh, across the Box Plus network. But let's talk now about something that everyone is everyone. watching at the moment. I mean, everyone. So much chat about this on Twitter. It's a Netflix show called Fire, the greatest party that never happened. Basically, uh, in 2017, thousands of people got scammed by a man named Billy McFarland. McFarland. And he sold them the dream of attending a luxury festival abroad. The only problem was, it never happened. Have a look at this trailer. Powerful models built this festival. And then one picture of cheese on toast ripped down the festival. They just couldn't physically fit that many people on the island. The event's co-founder is facing up to 20 years in prison. If you had thousands of dollars to go on a trip to see Blink-182, that's on you. That is Darwinism at its finest. <laughs> the biggest event in a decade, I promise you. I'll be there. Oh, it is so it is good. It is so good. And it is an incredible story. So, basically, they promoted this festival by paying influencers like Kylie Jenner and Bella Hadid to post this sort of orange tile type thing yeah. on their Instagram with a link to some tickets. Which started to get people interested, people started talking about it. Yeah, then the festival goers then had to like scrape together their own travel and when they landed at the site they were greeted by lost baggage, hurricane tents and wet mattresses. Just take a look how grim this is. The expectation, luxurious accommodations. The reality, more like a disaster relief campsite. A secluded private island getaway? Nope, just minutes away from a sandals resort on Great Exuma Bahamas and the gourmet meals provided by celebrity caterer Steven Starr exchanged for these plain cheese sandwiches and salad after the chef backed out. One attendee posting to Twitter, this is how Fire Festival handles luggage. Just drop it out of a shipping container at night. It was basically the exact opposite of everything we were promised. So it was an absolute disaster, <laughs> total chaos, as you can see there. Some customers paid upwards of $12,000. How much? 12 grand on a wristband that was supposed to let them pay for food and boat trips and whatnot. Uh, but it turns out, uh, well, there weren't any food and there weren't any boats. This is maybe one of the worst scams to have ever happened. Jimmy, you've watched it. Would you recommend to our lovely viewers of definitely taking a look at it? Absolutely. Yeah. It is brilliant. 
It sort of makes you think how... Because I remember the story when it came out in 2017 or whatever, and my response was, well, it serves you right for spending 10 grand on a ticket to a festival, but then you watch the documentary... Yes. ...and you see the promo videos that they put out, and it did actually look amazing. The, it looked On a like, private island. If you seen it on Insta or on, on Facebook or Twitter or, or wherever, you'd be like, I, I, I need to go to I want to go. And if you had the money, you would. Yeah. They really sold it, didn't they? Yeah. So the way it turns out, it's, it's fascinating. So check it out. Um, and if you've ever made a bad purchase, just watch that in bed and uh, feel super smug about your life choices there. Uh, all right, so, after the break, have you ever seen a man dancing with a sloth? No. I, I have. It's said it in Burnley on a night out once. And that's you on screen now. Yeah. Uh, Brother Nature, just one of three Instagram accounts that you need to be following right now. We'll show you the other two in a sec when we do three to follow. And we've got Lisa Mafia from Soul Solid Crew coming in to discuss the new series of Coach Trip and what it's like sitting on an endless coach with Big Nasty. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, it what? For that. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll chat to her, get your tweets in as well. Tell us about your scented candle and we'll see you after the break. <laughs> When your boiler's on the blink, peace of mind is having someone to turn to. We're with you. So from just 40p a day, get British Gas Home Care Boiler Cover and one of our 6,000 engineers will visit to get it sorted. You can contact us 24 hours a day, every day of the year. And when you buy selected home care products online by the 18th of February, get one month free. Search British Gas Home Care. Are you totally ready for a healthier mouth? Introducing new Colgate Total Whole Mouth Health Toothpaste, a breakthrough new formula that brings together two elements found in nature, zinc and arginine, to help fight bacteria, so that your whole mouth, your teeth, tongue, cheeks and gums are protected for up to 12 hours. New Colgate Total also delivers effective enamel protection, instant neutralization of bad breath and even sensitivity relief. New Colgate Total for whole mouth health. What's next in the BT January Seal? Amazon Prime on us for 12 months with Superfast Fibre Essential. Imagine all that Prime music and unlimited fast deliveries. Magic. On average, this broadband is three times faster than standard UK broadband's 10 megabits per second. It's $29.99 a month on an 18-month contract. This Amazon Prime offer is only available till 24th of January. So back it now. Search BT Broadband or call 0800 345 7414. Watch what oh, you yeah. do We're back I sang out of tune when you God, I bet that car looks elegant going through this scenery <laughs> Oh, you look cold <laughs> Hammond's lap's going well. Question. When you've both worked up a healthy appetite, who makes dinner? Answer. Quorn already has. A delicious new tikka masala ready meal with Quorn pieces. In less time than it'll take to repair that puncture. Quorn. Healthy protein. Healthy planet. Degrees boiling and now also cold filtered drinking water. The tells it all. Go to cooker.co.uk for an introductory offer. Introducing EpiSmooth from JML, the compact, convenient epilator that removes unwanted hair from the root. The design means it's ideal for quick touch ups on the go. Use it for stray hairs on your face, upper lip, underarms, legs, or even your bikini line. Just run it over the problem area for. No nicks, no cuts, and no irritation. Look and feel your beautiful best with the EpiSmooth from JML. Only $14.99 from Asda, Boots, Dunelm, and Wilco. In a way, it's all a matter of time. Lloyds Bank. 
by your side. Power three will serve one. As one sister dies, so does the power. Unless... I see another. My condolences. Are you telling me that that girl is really her sister? You know who you are now, Paige. This is where your destiny lies. Charmed. Today, 6 p.m. on Full Music. Hey, welcome back to Trending Live. You want to talk music? You talk about Ariana Grande. She's absolutely killing it this year. And that is why we will play you the whole of this video for Seven Rings at the end of the show. And it is pretty epic, so definitely worth sticking around for. But do you know what, Jordan? What? You know what I feel like doing right now? Flicking the screen. Beg your pardon? Flicking the phone screen. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Instagram scrolling, that's just what I call it. And right now, it is time to see three accounts that you should be following in three to follow. <laughs> okay, this is the part of the show where we look at three accounts that everyone is talking about right now after each one, Jordan. You decide whether it's worth a follow or not. And I know that you're very protective over your feeds. You're a hard man to please. Yeah, that's true. That you? is true. What is, what, who's your favourite person on Instagram? Right, it's... Just so I can get a feel for your taste. My favourite person on Instagram is Victoria Beckham. Really? Why? Yeah, cos they just post... She posts us pictures and they just <laughs> they look great all the time and you yeah. just think they have the best... Fun. Would you like them to adopt you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd like that. As Sorry, well. Mum. Good, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, I'm going to show you the photos. You decide whether you want to follow them. Yep. And at number three today, we've got teenage fashion icon. Gully Guy Leo is only 15 years old, but he's already racked up over 700,000 followers and an A-list fan base, including Ray and wow. Tyler, the creator, as well. So here he is. This is Gully Guy Leo. Right. As you can see, he just gets up to all sorts that normal teenagers do. For example, riding a tractor in the desert, holding a goat That's while a wearing an orange hoodie. Sorry. That's oh, a everyone's a critic, aren't they? Well, that's not a tractor. That's Sorry. not a tractor. It could be a very small tractor, couldn't it? Okay. <laughs> uh, hanging out in New York or somewhere, Dubai, I don't know. That's Burnley. Oh, that is Burnley. Sorry. I'm joking. I can see you dancing with a sloth in the background. <laughs> uh, so, uh, that's a little... That's just a, a glimpse of his feed. Look at that. Oh, uh, what? He's... Where? I can just see a face. <laughs> what? What's happening? <gasps> He's got matching pajamas and matching bedding. He looks a little bit like a magic eye, doesn't he? <laughs> Imagine playing hide and seek. Oh, you'd never be able to find him, no, would you? you? That's a, that what is, is, that, is amazing. that Gucci or Chanel? What is it? Do you like your brands? Uh, no. Chanel. Chanel. It's Chanel. That's that amazing. Uh, and oh, another magic eye one. There he is. Oh, He's very yeah. good at coordinating himself, isn't he? I really like this. Is that on a cone? Like you do. Well, I don't know where the end of that... Well, um... Move on. Move on! Uh, well, no, that's the last photo, so we're gonna have to hold on that. What's he called? It's a chunky cone, isn't it, he's sat on? <laughs> What's he called? Gully Guy Leo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gully Guy Leo, what do you yeah, think? It sounds like something that you don't want. I've got Gully Guy Leo. Um, <laughs> I beg your pardon. I've got a cream for that. Uh, you follow him or not? I'm going to give him a follow. And You're going to give him a follow? Yeah. I really, I, he's, he's cool. He is he's cool, cool, isn't he? He's cool, isn't he? You could dress like that and get away with it, I think, quite nicely. No, right. I wouldn't. Oh, he's so cool. Look at him with his little neck chief. I know. Love it. Like him. He's good. All right, well, let's move on to uh, our second Instagrammer. Let's see if we can make it two for two. Uh, this is a guy called Mr. Mr. Edge FX uh, with around 200,000. He's the graphic motion designer who boggles our brains on a daily basis. Wow. Uh, so let's take a look at some of his animations. Uh, here's one of some balls bouncing to the beat. Beg your pardon? Right. <laughs> that wasn't balls. Yes, it was. What was that? That was balls bouncing to the beat. What was that? <laughs> what was... 
OK, now we've got some balls bouncing to the beat. Let's have a look at the ball. Come on, that's pretty cool, isn't when it? When you made me that cup of tea before, did you slip anything in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Check this out. This is... Uh, what? This is a lemon. Right, this is a lemon dancing to that Rihanna song, Lemon. You'll like this. I get it how I live it. Wait a minute. I live it how I get it. Wait. Come bitches. I pull it with a lemon. Wait a minute. Not cause she ain't living. Wait. It's just Wait your eyes get acidic. And this ain't Wait. a scrimmage. Wait a minute. Well, I like it a lot, Lemon Dancer. He's got all sorts, so you can see on his page here, he does them for everything. Um, uh, so what do you think of Mr. Edge Effects? Would you give him a follow? I think, am I dreaming now? Am I in some weird... Yeah, maybe. Definitely. Especially that one with the legs. What was, what was that all about? Oh, the guy getting waved? How the did they do that? I don't know how they did it. That's actually. like that floating Yoda that you always see in London or on oh, the streets yeah. in big cities. Maybe like, it's the same thing. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. Are you going to follow him? I, would def I will. I was like, at the start, I was like, I might yeah, do. Yeah, but now you're into now it. I'm, yeah, I'm well into him. All right, we've got one more. Uh, and taking the number one spot today is Instagram's answer to David Attenborough. He's called Brother Nature. Brother. Uh, and he's got a massive 2.3 million followers. He basically blesses the gram with pictures and videos of him in perfect harmony with the animals. So here he is, um, here he is dining with a giraffe. Have we got a giraffe? Pick of it. Giraffe eating your breakfast, he's got some neck. Ah. <laughs> oh. I, I met that up there, that the wasn't the next video, quickly. <laughs> yes, I swear, it's a truth, and I owe it all to you. Close up, and the time I love, and I owe What do you reckon to that? Dancing with a sloth? Reminds me of a night out in Burnley. Hey, are you the sloth or the man? Uh, the s man? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You've been both at some point. We've all been both that at some point. That was me and Yates' last week, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I can tell you like that. You're going to follow Brother Nature? Do you know what? I am. I think all three of them have been incredible and I'm not just... I'm quite... No, I'm quite easily to please, but I've, I think all three of them have been fantastic. They're going to bless the gram, aren't they? Yeah. They're going to upgrade your Instagram feed. Well, we have got three more Instagram accounts to fuel your addiction next week, but uh, for this week, that was three to follow. Some gems there, Jimmy. Absolute gems. Speaking mm. of which, four of diamonds. They swung by recently to chew some sweets and have a chat with presenter Munya. One of them confessed her undenying love for him. Well, at least that's what it says on the script. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, let's see, shall we? This is pick and mix. What a baby. It's the four of diamonds. Well, actually, five of diamonds, actually. Uh, and this <laughs> is pick and mix. Right, so ladies, the rules are very simple. Okay, you pick a sweet, then you pick a question. Mm. Okay, little purple jelly baby. All right, and now grab a question as well. Which spice girl is your spirit animal? Okay. Ooh. This is a good one. I know this. You would be spicy spice. Is that one oh. of them? No. 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 <laughs> Paprika spice. I think I'd be posh. Okay, posh. Yeah. Yeah. Posh? You would not be posh spice. <laughs> well, well, thank you. You would not be posh spice. Actually, Yasmin, you are not posh spice. <laughs> I don't think Yasmin fits in. <gasps> Maybe more Jerry. You're more Jerry. Yeah. Oh, Jerry. No, she's she, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. She, she quite cheeky. Jerry. No, that's you. You're Jerry. Oh, yeah. You Jerry's the sass. I'm baby, but yeah, I'm not a baby. I'm the oldest, but I'm mm. I'm quite cute. Where you are, yeah, yeah she is baby style. Yeah. Okay, so that leaves oldest you then. What are you? Really You're know. posh. Do you think? Posh. Yeah. Posh I don't think I'm like posh. Yeah, yeah. Posh. I think, yeah, I think mm. I'm a mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. Posh. So we've worked it out. Then we're basically the new Spice Girls. So what are you? I just jerky spice. He's made a new one. Jerk rice spice. Okay. I'll be that. Who forgets choreography most often? Well, I mean, do we need to answer that? I want. I want to know. I want to know a time that you've been performing and you've looked back and you've got your. We were supposed to move to go into blind. And she's still at the front, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were both. We were. It worked. We made it work, though. We were both left there, and then we looked at each other and we were like. 
OK. We'll call it. We'll call it. What about lyrics, though? Has anyone ever forgot lyrics? Oh, Caroline. Oh, yeah, Caroline sings oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. She sings it. Yeah. She sings it. Yeah. I always sing oh, I've yeah. Got Girlfriend. I don't know why. I don't know. I got a girlfriend. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, it's just 2019, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? All right, last question last week. Really Digging deep. Who's the last celeb you saw in your dream? Oh, wow. OK, now, I'm, I'm not included in this, so, um, you know, just <laughs> dive right in. It's a shame, because it was actually you, but... <laughs> <laughs> no surprises there. Keep that bit in. <laughs> Dreams oh, that often. Gareth Gates. Gareth Gates? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? You were the one dreaming of Gareth Gates. Out. Didn't yeah. you snog it? <laughs> this is fake news. <laughs> In the words of Donald Trump, this is fake news. <laughs> Wait, so what I'm hearing is you have a poster of Gareth Gates on your wall that you snog. It was actually yeah, better than a poster. It was a, a life size cardboard cutout. I didn't kiss it, but it got manipulated, <laughs> and somehow we ended up with me kissing Gareth Gates. Wow. <laughs> she did. Get that on the tabloids that right now. Happen. That's the kind of story I want to see. A good night kiss. There we go. Uh, ladies and gents, four of diamonds. That was Pick a Mix. Honestly, some presenters literally just get paid to flirt, don't they, Jimmy? It's ridiculous. Uh, Hang on, have you been, uh, have you been working out there, uh, big man? <laughs> well, yeah, I have, but focus, Jordan. Yeah, now sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's not the time, because uh, our next guest is not only a garage music legend, she's a fashion designer, a model, a singer-songwriter, a presenter, and a well-known TV star as well. At this rate, she'll probably be ending up being the PM in a couple of months. It's the one and only Lisa Mafia! Yes, Lisa Mafia, the PM! What an intro! Thank yes, you, Lisa. We, it's no secret we've been really looking forward to having you on the show today, and I think it's only right that we start by talking about Soul Solid Crew, because you guys are legendary. Ah, thank you. Early 2000s, me and my mates loved you. We knew all the words to the songs, and uh, it all started with this absolute banger, 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 21 seconds. So that tune went straight to the morning in August 2001. It won two MOBOs, a Brit Award as well. Uh, when it came out, Lisa, did you know that it was going to be a massive hit that actually is, is timeless and still slaps today? I just think, like, when you listen to that track, I still think, oh, my God, how do I, how do I dance to it? I never <laughs> knew how to dance with 21 seconds. <laughs> but I knew everybody was going to be loving it because there's all them different, like, characters to, like, kind of, like, put the song together. So, yeah, yeah I always knew they were going to love it. I just didn't know it was going to go number one. You still, <laughs> you still not mind getting asked about it now? Because I know it's a few years on, man, but it's the 18 people... 18 years! 18 No, years. it's not! No, 18 it's not. years, and I still love it. I absolutely love it. Last year, we racked up 95 bookings. The wow. year before, 103 bookings. We're booked solid, like, week in, week out. Already this year, I think we've had nine, so... That's brilliant. It's, but it's really busy, and we're having a great time with it still. And yes. <laughs> it, it won two mobiles, yes. and you won a Brit Award as well. We're like... We're like 2.8 million records deep. We are like four times platinum now. No way! Yeah. <laughs> I've got a question actually, Lisa. You know when you go like four times platinum, for example? Yes. Not that that's happened to me, obviously. <laughs> do they continue to send you the plaques out? So have you got like four of the oh, plaques yeah. or do you just get one? Right, I'm going to tell you the truth behind plaques. You have to buy them. What? No! no. Well, get much, out! How much are we talking? Well, they're no, they're not that expensive, but they are. The official plaques are made by the BM, BMP. B, oh, I don't want to get that wrong. BPI. BPI. Yes, BPI. Yeah, that's the yeah. BPI. Uh, British <laughs> Phonographic <laughs> Institute. I think there you go. Fine. There you go. You're better than me. <laughs> and you have to to get them officially made. Yeah. You have to pay for them. Yeah. What? You're I joking. Have no idea. But they do look good, though. The you could world make them we live yourself. in. I mean, it's just like a CD, the plaque <laughs> right on it. We could make them ourselves. They wouldn't look as good. <laughs> it's not the same, though, is it? It's it's not no. the same. No. I, um, I think we should have a look at the video of you winning the Brit Awards because yeah. it is brilliant. This is back in 2002. Take a look wow. at it. And the winner is 21 seconds. So, I've got big up Max and Dania, yeah, for a wicked video, 21 seconds, yeah. 
say thanks again for all the massive that reaching down on the bricks. And it's been about the after party. It's all said it maybe year 2002. Legendary. Yay. Legendary. That actually gives me to like shivers. Yeah, <laughs> when was the last time you yeah. saw that? Uh, I don't know, quite a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice to see it because that was the start for a very great, like, an amazing journey for So Solid. Well, and yeah. For myself as well, yeah. So yeah. Solid artists as well. <laughs> I love it. Because is it true you started out by selling singles out just out the back of a van? Out of the back of a van that backfired. <laughs> Literally, we had, the, they were called 12-inch white labels. They had no name, no nothing on it. It was just a 12-inch record, guys, an LP. Google it. <laughs> Maybe have a clue. And we used to sell them out the back of our truck, about of our little van that used to backfire, literally. Love Down that. Brick Lane, Tottenham, Brixton, and just sell them one by one. That's I where it starts. Oxo Trino and So Solid both had, like, Well, we're going to ask you more about your new single yeah. after the break, OK? You'll see after this. Perhaps you're a slider. Or perhaps you're a chiller. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps you're an adventurer. A twirler. Or a take it all inner. Whatever you are, there's no perhaps about it. With thousands of holidays under £400 per family, there are more possibilities with Eurocamp. Tom is ready for a relationship that lasts. Are you? On average, every 14 minutes, someone finds love on eHarmony. Don't think. Switch. Get up to £30 free credit when you switch to a smart meter with Boost today. Today we're talking credit scores with Julie. Julie. Anthea. Tell the people at home how you improved your credit score with Totally Money. I signed up totally free and with no impact on my credit rating. It's different from other free credit reports. I can track my live score and see why it's changed. I can see why Totally Money was named best credit report provider. It is so easy to understand. Piece of cake. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Hi. Get your credit score and report at totallymoney.com. At fabletics.co.uk, we're known for our leggings because our leggings look as good as they feel and perform as well as they fit. Because we have leggings for every activity and every body. Because our leggings are cute and designed to perform. Say hello to the addition of an easy reach pocket to keep your phone in. Just leggings. They are fabletics. Back to work. Get now two leggings for just £24 only at fabletics.co.uk. Zipit.com turns books into money. Our free app zaps barcodes and instantly offers great prices. Zipit.com turns books into money fast. I've got my son at school, my new baby to look after. I was never in for the loan agency. It was a bit of a nightmare. Ask Ocom about the loan you can manage on your mobile. With our app, you don't have to worry about someone coming round. Keep up to date on your balance and you can even top up your loan. Look after your account and get rewards as well. I asked Oakham and they said yes. And the app lets me see where I am, wherever I am. Ask at oakham.com, phone or pop into one of our high street stores. Ask Oakham. We love to say yes. This February, send chocolate packing and help the British Heart Foundation raise money for life-saving research. Sign up to DCHOX. It's so easy to find great local tradespeople thanks to MyBuilder.com. Just post your job and you'll get responses from local trades, screened by MyBuilder and reviewed by previous customers. Being able to look at reviews from other people, it gives you that reassurance that they're going to do a good job. Post your job on MyBuilder.com. It's easy and it's free. OK. Beagle says you ain't got life insurance. Numpties. Beagle Street could provide for the ones you love. If the worst happened, one of you could get covered for the monthly cost of that fish supper. With no medicals, you could get a quote in the time it takes to have a nice cup of tea. 
Cheers. What do you think? It's a no-brainer. Visit BeagleStreet.com. Life insurance that really cares. Down is get done. I'm in a rush to be dropping a thousand ain't much. Come from the clouds on a missile to turn it so tired in the dust. Don't make a sound, baby, hush. I am the living swipe right on the mic. I'm a s I don't know how to not spit like a loud. I feel it pound on my kids on your couch. Stop. <laughs> Step into the spotlight. And the crowd goes. And the crowd goes. And the crowd goes. Stop. Yes. Welcome back to Trending Live. We've got Ariana Grande's video Seven Rings on the way very, very soon. Yes, we have. But before that, we're still joined by the garage music legend with the UK number one and a front seat on this year's celebrity coach trip. It's Lisa Mafia. Legend. Absolute legend. legend. Uh, let's talk about your new single then. When's it out? What's it about? Is it quite different? It's different for Lisa Mafia and the garage kind of side. Really? Stuff. Yeah, it's a bit more housey. Um, a production company called uh, Heavy Trackers have produced it. And it's still very much me, but it's the dance side of me. I came with Bad Girl back in the day, and now I'm back with, like, another kind of feel of that. And that's late March we're going to release that. Oh, lovely. Yeah. You'll have to come back and see us again. Yes. Oh, my God, definitely. Yeah. Have you done the video for it or anything yet? No. I, so I keep going back and forth wherever I want to be in the video, and I know that sounds crazy, but I... Sometimes I think, like, kind of, like, storytelling videos are incredible. Yeah. So I'm trying to create, like, a short movie to match the video. Yeah. yeah oh, nice. Is it, is it quite daunting releasing a new single sometimes? It's so scary. Yeah. It's very scary because... As my fan base is probably about 30 now, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, who am I attracting? I want to attract the new the new guys, but you've got to be really in tune with them. You've got to just go for it. You've got to yeah. be brave and bold. And that is really scary. Social media as well. Social media yeah. is frightening. Because yeah. we didn't even have that. Yeah. I mean, we went number one. I sold 90,000 copies of my single in one day. And on well, my very first debut single, without any social media, only the radio and only, like, magazines. And it's it's all changed now. With a press of a button, you are exposed to thousands of people. Yeah. So the, 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 you know, the feedback is can be really mixed. So yeah, it's. Quite Do you think simple. it was harder back then without social media, or is it harder now? I think it's harder now because you have a lot more opinion, and you have to battle with so many other musicians able to press the button at exactly the same time. We had a schedule to follow, and we knew when other people were releasing their records. Where now you just don't know. Like yeah. literally, only from Monday morning, I feel like releasing something. I'll go, yeah, I'll just release that. Yeah. Put it on YouTube, and then everyone's got it's it. There. It's, it's out there. there in the world. <laughs> yeah. We had a schedule to follow. We had eight weeks to promote and stuff like that. Wow. And that's all changed now. But yeah. it is. It is quite nice because then you get to challenge. You get to yeah. challenge yourself. Ex exactly, this is the yeah. thing. Well, um, let's talk about the new series of Celeb Coach Trip. <laughs> yes. Uh, it was on last night at E4. Uh, we got a little clip of you making the whole group do the paella dance. Oh, oh my hey, God. This is the UK version yeah, this is a of the paella dance. Of Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, let's go hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Lisa's dance was like this. I thought Lisa's dancing was sexy. Wow. That's brilliant. Look, I mean, there's some people more into the pile of dance than others there yeah. on that scene. <laughs> Edward were pretty up for it. Yeah, they always are. They're up for anything, they're not. Oh, aren't they? <laughs> um, so give us a feeling for the actual coach then, Lisa. Uh, were you the party starter? Because I feel like you probably were. I, do you know what? I love to just have fun and I just hate that feeling of everyone like moping around and that. And we were together for a long time. I wasn't about to just like, just relax and sit back and just, you know, let everyone else moan. So I just tried to keep everyone's energies up. Yeah. I'm a bit of a party. Yeah. Who was the moaner then? Who was like, just boring? Um, who was really boring? Yeah. I think Nadia was quite boring. Yeah. She was always Ooh. moaning. Yeah. She was always moaning at Bobby, she was moaning at us, she was moaning at James. Um, no, I think it was only her. I'm sorry, Nadia, I do love you, but she was pretty boring. Were you on, <laughs> were you on the bus quite a lot? Did things get heated? Because imagine it was the middle of the heat wave, weren't it, back in... Yeah. What were Jedward like? Didn't they get a bit annoying? Jedward, 
Jedward. Stop. Jedward were Jedward. Jedward were Jedward. Exactly. They were crazy. Like, they... They, they uh, you think I was hyped? They was on 110 every minute of every day. Love that. Crazy. <laughs> I love that Jedward are still Jedward. They, were, they are actually Jedward. Yeah. They are actually really like that. <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> that's an act, that them. is them. Uh, well, obviously, uh, you know your coach mates very well now, uh, but some of them really do get up to mischief, and we're about to expose them now in a game called Busted, as in bust. <laughs> wow. Ted, yeah, bust like a coach. I, see what, no, I, see I quite like that. Going. See where you're going. Where you're going. <laughs> uh, we're going to read you some scenarios, Lisa, oh. and from some of your coach mates that have been in the show, and you need to guess who it is and tell us why. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. okay tell sorry. you some statements and quotes. Oh, so the yes. first statement is this: Who was awkwardly pied by their first choice date on a reality dating show? Mutia. It is Mutia, yeah, oh, bless her. My baby her. girl, you don't know what you're missing. Yeah. <laughs> She's an actual sugar babe, hello. Yeah, hello. There's, What's wrong with you? And there's actually a video of this. It is quite awkward. Oh. Have a look, have a look. Who would you like to select for a date? Oh, this is a hard one. I haven't met anyone tonight that's 100% wild to me, but there is one guy that seems a little different from the rest. Um... Jordan? <laughs> Jordan, do you accept Mutia's invitation? Uh oh, is he gonna say no? Yeah. Although I'm really honest by the <gasps> question. Oh god. I think we probably connected more on a friendship level. Okay. You ain't helping, Chloe. Oh. Who does he think he is? That's not fair. I don't know what I would do. Hello. <laughs> I know it was That's right. So She's a sugar babe. Right. Hello. <laughs> Who is it that wet the bed on national television following a big night out in the town? Look, there's only one person crazy enough to do something so crazy, and that is Charlotte. Yes. 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 Nailed it. She did it all the time. <laughs> it wasn't a one-off. She does right. it all the time. Next one. Who on the coach performed and actually met Barack Obama, but yeah. the president did admit that he'd never heard of them and asked who they were. It's probably Jedward, because they just... Is it Jedward? You are nailing this! <laughs> you are nailing they just, this! They just, met Barack they Obama. They the most crazy thing. They've probably never seen him in his life. Apparently, <laughs> he shut the hand and he's like, what's a Jedward? And they had to explain that um, he thought it was like an Irish term. <laughs> <laughs> Which celebrity admitted to playing a game uh, in which you beat each other up with a ball of socks? It was a game they used to play with a ball of socks. Have we got oh, you days, I don't know. Who would that have been? Ball of socks. It's probably James or Sam, right? No. No, it's not. Oh. It's in fact big nasty. Take a oh look at this. Gosh. So boom, basically, it's a family game, and everyone everyone has their own hooker ball. Do you right? hit each other? Yeah. It's your own tool. So you whack people with that? Yeah. With the hooker well, ball? Yeah, it was your own hooker ball, but there's stipulations to it. You gotta all be in a room and you gotta turn off the lights. Yeah. I love him. I love Big Nasty. I don't know if I like the sound did, of this game. Did that never happen on the coach? No. No. Thank God, no. Luckily. What was he like on the coach? Because he's, he's entertaining. Oh, my God, Big Nasty, he really brought some light to the coach. Because it was, like, refreshing. Every time we got a new person, it was like, yes, there's someone else to talk to! And there's yeah. someone else to, like, have a joke with. So, yeah, it was great to have him on the coach. And he was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, he comes up with the most, like, random stuff. Random! He's a genius. Out of nowhere as well. Oh, like you'd be sitting there and he'd be like, Do you like frogs? Be like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 is it, do I say yes or no? I don't know. Do you like frogs? <laughs> Amazing. You know, the madman was with him as well, and them two together were hilarious. They were brilliant. That's oh, good. love it. Well, Lisa, we're out of time. Thank you so much. Uh, thank I can't you. wait to see all of your new adventures in the upcoming episodes. And good luck with the new single as well. Thank Come back and see much. us soon. Give it up for Lisa Matthew, everybody. <laughs> Let's end on some music now. Let's talk Ariana Grande. She ended 2018 as the undisputed queen and she has started 2019 in the same way by already breaking the internet with her brand new single. It's already on 60 million views 60 million. in only a few days. So the ultimate sign of respect is to play it right now. This is Seven Rings. <laughs> Yeah, but this touch.
Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles. Girls with tattoos who like getting in trouble. Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines. Buy myself all of my favorite things. Been through some bad but I should be a sap. Who would have thought it turned me to a savage? Rather be tied up with calls and my strings. Buy my own checks like I'm June, brand new Ariana Grande. That is Seven Rings, and that is it for today's show. Aww. Massive thanks to today's guests, Liv Dawson, and of course, the legend that is Lisa Mafia. I loved having Lisa on the show. I did as well. So <laughs> good. <laughs> Do you think I fangirled a bit? You did a little bit. did a bit. bit yeah. but it's fine, it's acceptable. It's fine. Uh, you can find all the best bits and the highlights over on our Twitter and Instagram. Just search Trending Live. Tomorrow we're joined by the cast of one of the most talked about shows right now, Asa Butterfield, Emma Mackey and Shooter.